What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie gaming we're taking a look at a game called Fishing Superstar X. That's a mouthful right there. A roguelike in which you are an evil genius attempting to get to Earth and blow it the hell up. Let's play the game and try it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere on planet X. I like how we put a big X on our base, just in case people didn't know that we were on Planet X. Just in case, in case they did a flyby with binoculars. This is where you are. New game. My dear bomb Selene will tour the solar system. She will land on every world from Pluto to Earth. At first, I had planned to atomize those, but this idea just sounds silly now. Putting a giant bomb on a stage is far more logical. At least, that's what she told me. The bomber pilot is nearly ready. It's time to bring flesh to life. So we've got DNA points. Apparently we're creating clone or clown me please. Okay. Also the back of our head looks like a butt. I don't know if that's like a genetic disorder or if that's just a thing that accidentally happened, but we definitely have some butt-like lobes going on over here. So we've got DNA points. We can be skilled. Let's see, the upgraded by the pilot's own special skill. And then we have our total health, and then we have our aim. Okay. Maybe we'll just drop a point in everything? Sounds good to me. People of the solar system, this is Leopold from Planet X. At last I have control of your TV sets. Are you receiving me? Okay, good, good, good. Today we are launching a most glorious mission. A bomber from Planet X will be carrying a weapon of incredible power. Her name is Selene Fission, and you will let her land on your worlds. And then she'll perform for your amusement, and you will enjoy it! No, I'm not insane, and this is not radiation sickness speaking. So you better enjoy her and have some concert stages ready. Or else, she'll detonate. I don't know what I would do if I went to a concert and they were like, you better enjoy this or we're going to blow up. Like, I don't know how I would feel about that. So apparently we have cash, we have ammunition, we have energy, we have ship damage, we have firing, we have shields, and we can move the ship around, and then we also have apparently turrets that can be fired. Alright, we have a science officer and a pilot. Let's launch this thing. Let's fire this payload. It's time. I'm in space, flying around. Coming to play a rockin' show in your town. Alright, our thrusters are off. Let's see what the game has in mind for us. Apparently I can't fire my guns right now. Oh no! Shields! 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 Yeah, shoot it back, shoot it back, shoot it back. Ooh, nice, we got that disintegration effect right there. I'm feeling that. Okay, so we have like operational zones on our ship that apparently we have to get the enemy in line with our turrets, otherwise we're not gonna be able to kill them properly. Looks good. All right, so we've killed off a couple of enemies. Just keep firing, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. Are we done here? Our mission timer is almost up. Where's the enemy at? Oh, there he is, there he is. Shoot his ass. Yeah, give him the guns, give him the blappers. So are they like trying to stop me from playing the concert right now? Or like, what is the plan for my enemies? Because all I wanna do is bring enjoyment to your life. I'm a bit puzzled by these attackers. How can anybody not be thrilled by our endeavor? Oh, we've leveled up, cool. So we can train skill or we can train armor. Um, armor? So we're in deep space right now. We can get plus one progress, or we can get deep space recruitment. We can go to a shipyard, or we can go to a weapon shop. Let's do recruitment. I feel like finding somebody else to be on my ship would be a really good idea. So we've got Mascor, we've got Sarge, Sarge, and then we've got Doctor El Casco. Okay. Maybe we'll get Surge, Surge. Sounds good. That cost us a lot of money, but I think we're all right here. Oh, never mind. I clicked the wrong thing. My bad, my bad, my bad. So we hired that guy. We've got people dancing in the background in the space club right now. 
On the plus side, we have more people on our ship. Maybe we fire faster, like do something more awesome. Oh, we lose shields when we're firing our gun, too. So apparently we've got like an electrical grid to be aware of. All right, let's wipe those dudes out. Oh, we've got another turret in the back. Everybody has control of like their own turret. Oh, nice, dude. Okay. I just don't want to get shot today. So if we can avoid getting murdered, that'd be fantastic. I do feel like the background should be moving slightly as you go forward to give you like a sense of the ship actually moving. As of right now, I don't feel motion. Like all I see is the things in the foreground. I feel like the background needs to shift slightly to the left as well while you're flying to give the, the feeling of actually making progress, I guess. So there's like a perfect sweet spot like right there where we can fire both nipple turrets if we really, really want to. For now on, these are nipple turrets, by the way. I've decided, they've been designated. It is decided. Nipple, oh no, he jumped me. I thought the mission was over because the timer was up. Oh no, I took my hand off the mouse and everything. That's bad, that's bad juju right there. We got 500 bucks though. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I see how the progress meter works. We're going to convert your ship into usable scrap by blowing it up. Uh, let's go with... We don't really have a whole lot of skill right now. I suggest that we get more skill. We can recruit again if we want. Or we can go to deep space. What do you have at the weapon shop? Let me look. How expensive are weapons in this? So let's see here. We have a Mark II blaster. Apparently there's an ammo boy baby floating in the front yard. All right. Some extra turrets or whatever you might be interested in. So ammo boy's random favorite. We've got a rifle and we've got a wave gun. Okay, shots per second, 20. A dish that sends energy waves a short distance. Shields are mostly ineffective at blocking it. Oh, it's 50 bucks for ammo. We also have a rifle over here. It fires four per second. 50 caliber rounds is the least potent ammo-based space weapon. We also have a better? Why is that rifle redded out? Just a question. So we've got 11.5, 1.9, and 2.5. Yeah, I guess. Throw that on there. Uh, let's put it on the bottom. I feel like I've been using the bottom the most. So we'll use the bottom. All right, looks good. We've got a new gun. Oh, it fires a lot faster. Hell yeah. Ah, we got this. I probably should have bought some ammo while I was out in the field too. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm going to need you to stop riding all up in my business right now. Ooh, I want to use the new gun. Oh, we've been shotted. We've been shooted. Did we take any damage or are we okay? I think we're okay. I think we're looking good. Stay ahead of him. I do like how there's different hard points on the ship and you actually have to line up the shots by flying around and rearranging on screen. I really, really like that, how you have like dead zones and things. Apparently I have a missile too. I don't know how to fire it. How do I fire a missile? I'm not gonna let you get up and underneath me. I'm just like flat out not gonna let that happen. That's not a thing that's going to take place while we're out here in space. I'm also really feeling that like the art style kind of reminds me of like the old MTV shows that were kind of just like drawn from the brain of somebody that's basically demented. A little bit demented. I like it. It's got like a demented dark feeling to it and I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go with a little bit more skill there. We can do more recruitment or we can go to another weapon shop. Uh, or we can get space cows. Hold on. What's up with space cows? I'm curious. Oh, they hit my ship and it hurts. Gotcha. Can I kill the space cows? Apparently there is a cow level. That's what I learned today. And there's also things trying to kill me, so that's good. That guy's got a giant chainsaw on his ship, which is worrisome. Yeah, just shoot the cows. Just murder them. Get them out of the way. I'm gonna have to leave this dude a little bit. My pilot's not looking so great. It would help if I would stop bouncing along the bottom of the level. I believe that might be the main part that's concerning me right now. Ooh, he blew himself up. That man had no chance. We lost all of his gold bars, too. Yeah, I think we're going to have to heal the crew and, like, rest up after this. And we're not getting any money for shooting the cows, either. And I was hoping that we would. That guy's got a lot of armor. I think he's down, though. I think we killed him. The screen flashed, so I'm pretty sure we were victorious. Remind me never to do another cow level ever again. That was a mistake. Uh, improve our armor, and then we've got recruitment. We've got the space aurora. Let's go with recruitment. I think maybe we should swap out some people here. 
So we can get a new pilot, Bikini Blonde, why not? All right, we've got a new pilot. And then we've got Arshed Fistula, Professor Von Goetze. I don't think I want to know Professor Von Goetze's after hours activities. I think Professor Von Goetze should just stick to himself. All right, Bikini Blonde, I don't know if you have any piloting experience. Ow! Okay, let's not get shot by that anymore. How about that? Let's let's not get shot by that. I'm gonna shoot this dude over here. And my only hope is that everything just turns out. Is this guy like a boss? He's taking like a lot of hits. That dude was taking like a beefy amount of ass whoopings. But unfortunately, he was in a position where I couldn't loot anything that he dropped either. Oh, good, there's another one. I definitely gotta block him like into the corner. There we go, that'll work. It looks like he can only fire downwards. I need your monies, I need them. Give me your monies. Also, if you have like fleet repair, that would help too. Oh, that's like a little flying guy with a rifle. That's not good. That guy's now down. It looks like we repaired a little bit off that too. I think he dropped like a wrench or something. Uh, let's go with improving the armor. Let's make the armor a little bit better. We don't have enough money to buy a new weapon right now, but we do have a shipyard, so I'm thinking maybe we should go there and repair our stuff. Okay, that looks all right. I feel like repairs went okay. We can also make our ship, oh, we can buy upgrades for the ship too here. Okay, all right. I mean, I can't really afford to, I wanted to repair it all the way up, but I guess that I can't. I suppose you can only repair a certain amount each time you go into a shipyard. We're probably strapped for time. I mean, we are on a we are on a touring schedule. Hey, the background's moving on this one. Nice. I'm glad they did the thing that I suggested. I'm glad they did that thing. Oh, that's a turret. Yay, apparently we're getting shot today. I need to get to his weak spot so I can't get hit anymore. Come on. Yeah, you just keep firing your guns ineffectually at nothing. Or, you know, you can murder my pilot. That's also an option. Thank God, he like one-shot at me. Good lord. Like, he took us down from full health to no health. Like, instantaneously. Good god. Alright, we just got chewed on. Solar tour is over. No DNA points. Learned. Disappointing. Disappointing to say the least. Let's try again. Alright, so this time around, I'm going for armor. I need, like, yeah, I just need you to be more armored. We can skip all that because it doesn't matter. And we've already seen it. Let's go. Let's launch this thing. Let's fire this rocket. At least we got our science officer back, so that's pretty sweet. I don't know his name, but he is a schnazzy dresser. The silence of space is all around us. Nary, can you hear the sounds of guns ka-chunking and ka-chunking and firing at our foes? I don't feel good about what's happening right now. Yeah, you get out of the way. I need, yeah, we got some repairs right there too. I'm gonna try it, I don't think I was prioritizing when I was playing previously, I wasn't really prioritizing picking up all the money and stuff. It's flying out of each and every one of these ships every single time we kill one. And I think that like being on top of them as they explode is a really good idea because those little gold bars right there give us money. And I think we're gonna need more cash if we wanna make it through this thing in one piece. However, I assume that later on it's going to be dangerous for us to be, like, on top of the enemy as they explode. For right now, though, it seems to be working out okay. Yeah, there's also little repair pickups and stuff, too, so we got to play this kind of like a old Super Nintendo game with regards to the power-ups. Oh, dude, he's got us. He's got us pinned. He's in our dead zone. Oh, never mind. He backed off. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more armor over here. And then I should probably do recruitment. We have lots of money right now, so let's do that. Let's see if we can buy some new crew members. We've got Mr. Stuck. Oh, really? They're 25% off. That's Oh, and you can heal your crew members here, too. Nice. We have Boris. And then we have T404544. I'm going to hire him as a medic, I guess, even though I don't trust him and he looks kind of scary. Cool. We are fully crewed up. We have guns everywhere. So apparently our firing arcs do not overlap one another, no matter how hard you try. Like, it looks like there may at some point be like a sweet spot in there, but I ain't found it yet. 
I'm gonna try and get right up on this dude as he explodes so we can get all of his monies. There we go. All of your monies. Give me all of your space monies. You ever find it odd that gold is valuable? Like, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, right? Hear me out. Like, one day, some guy found a yellow rock and was like this. This yellow rock is going to be worth more than all of the other rocks, yellow or otherwise. And that was it. Like, it was decided. From then on, that yellow rock for all of human history was worth a bunch of money. If you really think about it, any nation that's still using a currency that's backed by gold is still basically trading shiny stones in order to get what they want. Which really, if you think about how advanced our civilization is and how far we've come in like the last 20,000 years, the fact that in essence we are still trading shiny stones in order to go buy like a rock star at the supermarket is kind of hilarious to me. I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit funny to me. So like what I think we really need right now is maybe, actually the shipyard we don't really need. We don't have enough money to upgrade anything anyways. We already have like full recruitment, so let's just go to deep space, man. I don't see a reason to like slow this process down. We might as well keep this concert rocking. Yeah, there you go. Gotta get the light show going. Oh, that's not good. No, all of his gold is gone. I wanted it so badly, but he was just not in the position where I could loot him. You definitely like want to be behind them when they die, but not too far behind them, like kind of far behind them, but not too far so that you catch all the refuse when it goes off so you can get paid. Where's the next dude coming from? And I think you definitely don't really want to be in the front, otherwise you only catch like half of it. So I think there's definitely an aspect of positioning to this game that needs to be appreciated and respected, otherwise you're going to have like trouble farming up money. perfect position. We got all the monies off of him. You'd think that if we were an evil genius that has access to an entire planet as a resource we would have more money than this, but you know. What do I know about anything? I can heal my crew. I can repair the ship. I don't really need any of that. Yeah, just train like skills or something. We have enough money right now to where we might be able to do something cool. What is a comet tail? I want to find out what this is. What's a comet tail do? I don't know if I'm fully in control of my ship right now. It feels like it's flying itself. It is. I think my ship is flying itself right now and I'm just controlling the turrets. Like, that's okay. We just gotta hope that it doesn't fly us in any of the firing zones on any of these ships. Oh my god, we made so much money off that. No! Stop that. I can't pilot my ship. It's stuck on the top of the screen. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Uh-oh. Damn, dude. That thing is deadly. And he came in, like, right on our... So those ships right there need some adjustment, I think. Because if they come in from the wrong angle, you basically get one-shotted. And he came off the screen, and within five seconds, I was dead. I definitely think those dudes' firing rate or their damage or something needs to be fiddled with because that's what got us last time, too, is that they come off the screen and your ship is so limitedly mobile that you can't work around them. So, like, if they come in properly aimed, that's it. You're, like, done. Like, there's no way for you to get out of the way, especially if, like, you try to push to the top, they just push to the top, too. If you try to push to the bottom, they just push to the bottom, too, and you're still going to get got. And so those guys right there are, like, a massive risk for us right now that I think we need to keep in our back pocket. It was that same ship that killed us last time. Definitely a mean little bastard. And if he comes in with you lined up at the beginning, you're you're in a world of hurt. There ain't no way you're walking away from it because there is nothing you can do to really get away. I guess I might have been able to play shields. Oh, you can. You can go 360 on the shields. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I could have blocked that. Never mind. It's my fault. I'm stupid. Never mind. It's not the game's fault. I'm just an idiot. There is a difference. There is a difference. That dude's gonna be kind of a problem to get rid of. I was gonna say, unless he like slows down and like hides in the background, he's gonna get us. This dude right here though. I need his money, give me your money. Give me all your cash. Yep, all the cash in the world. I'm coming through here, I'm bruising. 
I mean, the enemy ships also have a little bit of an advantage just due to the fact that they can go off screen and I can't. And so, like, they can kind of wheel around me in ways that I can't wheel around them. And so we got to watch out when they're off screen like that. My feeling is that this guy is not going to let us have this position. Oh, he did. We were able to push him out of the way. All right. Well, I'll shoot his ass up then. Let's make a little bit more money. So level one is down. We're going to improve our armor a little bit. And then... Let's go deep space recruitment. we got a little bit of money to play around with. We've got Juggenstein, apparently, and Sluggo. Bikini Betty and Jez Damayel. I don't know if any of these people look good. I guess I'll pick her up. And that kind of leaves us where we are. Keep going. All right, so let's try not to die. Let's rock out to this awesome soundtrack, though. This pixel music is pretty dope. I'm sorry, these chip tunes are pretty dope. I'm enjoying them. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what this dude's trying to do. He's got like a little backfiring mount or something. But I gotta definitely like drifto my way around him. There we go. We managed to drifto our way around. Oh, we shot the pilot out of that one. That was pretty sweet. I didn't realize that they had like weak points that you could murder. Yeah, I'm gonna block those. Let's not get shot today. How about that? And then while you're trying to line back up, get a couple more shots off. A little bit more energy, a little bit more cash. I'm trying to get one of these dudes into a good position so that I can steal like all the monies. But unfortunately, Chappie, it ain't going that way. There we go. That one was pretty lucrative. Like a hundred bucks off the last two. Where is that guy's gun? I have no idea where that guy's firearm was. Made me feel nervous about approaching him. I like the fundamental mechanic that the game has going, though, where everything has like a firing point and like a weak point, and the whole thing is about maneuvering to the proper level on the screen. As a side-scrolling game, it makes it kind of interesting that you have limited turret range. Uh, let's go to the weapon shot for sure. I'm feeling the weapon shot. I don't really want the... I don't really want the wave gun. I mean, apparently its DPS is higher, but... I don't really like that weapon that much. It doesn't excite me. I guess I'll buy some ammo and we'll just be on our way. Nothing inside the store is really jumping out at me as something that I need to have like right this second. You need to go. Ooh, all of your monies are mine. $919 right now? Yeah, there's that dude right there. That's the one. That's the guy where if his bottom turret hits us, we're pretty much like fried. So let's just like not take a risk. I just want him to be dead. Not even going to go near his treasure. His treasure might be as deadly as he is. But yeah, I got to remember to use my shields on those guys. I was thinking they were just coming in from off screen and just like wrecking me. But I uh, got to use the shields a little bit more, I think. Yeah, you both got to go. And as bummed out as I am that I missed out on all that loot, unfortunately, I can't deal with both of you at the same time. Makes things complicated. Yeah, you need to go block some of that. There we go. Get him into a better position. Uh, I think we're okay over here. We're not inside his firing arc, so I presume we'll be okay. I mean, I'm definitely not going to let him get around me. Not at all. Damn, dude. He's got a stiff jaw on it. Definitely don't want to die. Dude, we have $1,300 right now? Take me to a weapon shop or something. Let's do this thing. Let's get paid up. I'm trying to have that cash. I would also like your money. Just saying. You're in like a magnificent... Oh, this is the one where you got to kill the pilot, right? I don't think you can actually kill that. No! Get away from me! Get away from me, space motorcycle! Yeah, exactly. That's the guy right there. We need to get to a better position where we can actually just, like, fire on him. That time we played it correctly. So that's basically the counter strategy for dealing with those dudes. Keep working on armor. Are we going to do recruitment or are we going to do a weapon shop and a comet tail? I think I'm going to go for recruitment and see if we can find better people. So we have Raul Turkey Knot. Or we have Bikini Bobby. 
So we got Bikini Bobby, Bikini Betty. Apparently there's Alan. He's pretty good. I'm gonna take Alan. I mean, in stats or stats, we might as well. All right, we got four guns now. I got four guns. One is for shooting and one is for fun. Stop shooting at me. I don't love you. Stop that. Stop that. I just want to deliver this bomb to your planet. Is that too much to ask? That's all that I've ever wanted to do is convert you guys into atomized parcels, particles. And you're not allowing me to do it right now, and I really feel like you're causing me to not actualize properly. So, for the greater good of me, I think you should allow me to atomize your planet. That's all I'm saying, is for my own personal self-betterment, it's in my best interest to atomize your planet. I do like having a front gun. A front gun amuses me and pleases me tremendously after not having one. Uh, that dude is a giant buzzsaw, so let's, like, maybe not kick it with him. Yeah, I think Bikini Bobby got annihilated. Bikini Bobby's not looking too healthy right now. Bikini Bobby needs a fresca. Somebody get Bikini Bobby a fresca! Can't decide if that little... I think I don't think it's shooting at me. There we go. I need a shipyard. Oh, you can actually use the shield to block him, too. That's really nice. It's actually pretty helpful. I'm not against it. But, like, I need to heal my crew, and I need to go to a shipyard and fix my ish. Because it ain't looking good right now. Can you have these just, like, auto-fire? Is that a thing? Apparently, you can turn them all offline, but I don't know what the... Like, it said turrets on the control menu. One, two, three, four... I didn't know if maybe that disables them, or... Huh, I don't know what that does. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but we're about to make it to our first little checkpoint. Keep getting more armor. Key space, we've got police presence, so we'd have to go around them. Yeah, let's go to the shipyard. I'm gonna repair my ship, and then... Maybe... Yeah, just keep repairing. Repair away. I need this place to be in much better shape. We've got better shields, we've got better reactors, so ship energy points. Probably get some hit points. Handling sounds awesome. Yeah, make our reactor better too. I feel like our ship does look cooler now. Our ship looks much nicer than it did previously. I'm digging like this cat. Oh shit, what is that thing? Ugh, it's got a titty! It's got like one massive titty. I don't know what the goal is here, but I'm just going to keep shooting him. Well, his head's off. Did we win? I would assume that if his head's off, we definitely won. We didn't get paid much for killing that weird space titty baby, but hey, we did what we had to do. We did what we had to do. It was necessary. But like, sir, did you kill our giant space titty baby? I'll have you know that giant titty baby was a uh, fixture of the community. Oh, I can't help that. He tried to puke on me in space, which is so much worse than getting puked on in normal, you know, in like gravity ridden environments. You ever been puked on in zero G? I thought not. Only somebody to be puked on inside zero G would understand. I do feel like the ship is much more maneuverable now, so that's good. I definitely feel like I get around the screen a little faster. You aren't going to hit me with that chainsaw. Like, I know you're thinking about it, and you really, really want to, but it's not going to happen. So, like, cease and desist, I guess. Uh-oh. That dude almost had me in a spot. I'm not going to give you the dominant position over here. It's just, it's not going to happen. It looks like she healed a little bit. I wonder what she healed from, like a pickup maybe or something? I don't remember healing her. So she must have, like, healed up from, like, a pickup or something. Alright, well, we shot that guy's head off, so that's good. That tends to happen when you get hit in the face on a motorcycle with a 50 cal. I know it's a complicated sentence with a lot of moving parts, but trust me, the science checks out. You're not gonna shoot me. I'm definitely not gonna give you the sweet spot. And if I do accidentally give you the sweet spot, I just want you to know... I'm going to shield all of your shots and nothing bad is going to happen to me and I'm going to suffer no side effects.
Get out of here, cycle boy. Get out of here. Space is no place for bicycles. It's nice to know that even in space, cyclists still won't use the bike lane. <laughs> even in space. Even in six degrees of freedom, they still won't use the bike lane. Fantastic. Good. We're out of here. Aw, oh, dude, there's another one? Man, I feel like I've killed so many enemies. Does it seem weird to anybody else that our ammo hasn't gone down, like, at all during this entire adventure? Like, I feel like there's a gun that I'm not firing. I banished him after he flooded my lab with vomit. Oh, it was one of the guy's creations. Gotcha. Keep working on armor, I guess. We've got a special shipyard. I don't really have that much money, but I want to check out special weapons. We can get a chainsaw, we can get a supercharged weapon, or we can get a rifle. I kind of want the rifle for, like, the front shooter, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. My name is Splattercat. This is Superstar, or this is Fishing Superstar X. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did like it, you can check it out down below. This game is being developed and worked on, so you can expect that maybe later on there will be more content that you can check out. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games, sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day so that you don't have to. I know there's a lot of indie games out there, and I will fall on the grenade so that it doesn't happen to you. Hi, dude. Take care. That's it. I got nothing else for you.